Hello everyone, it is your girl Cassandra Olivia back with yet another hair video. Thank you guys so much for being patient with me as I'm transitioning into my new space and trying to do a lot of new things as far as my website and selling items. So I just appreciate every single last one of you for your patience. But without further ado, let's get into the video. So I believe this client, her name was Alexis, and if I butcher that, I apologize, but I'm trying to go based off of memory. I actually did her on Halloween, and she came in with a whole vibe. She came about two hours away to come visit me from Maryland, so shout out to you, girl. I really appreciate it. She also has a YouTube channel, I believe, so I'm going to link that down below as soon as she messages me that info because I've gotten over like 500 DMs, and I cannot find you. So as soon as you see this girl, shoot me a email. <laughs> So, a lot of my subscribers have been asking for longer videos. So, what I did was a compromise. Um, this client, all together from start to finish, with the press, the shampoo, the trim, everything took about two hours. But I did not want to um, bombard you guys with a super long video, especially because I, that's not really my style. So, what I did was I sped up the video slightly. And then for the press, I just sped it up a lot in the blow dry, just so that way you guys aren't sitting here bored as hell for two hours. Like, okay, girl, we get it. You, you've been blow drying for 35 minutes what's going on so typically when my clients come in i like to set the environment um you want to make sure that you come in you have a good attitude you're there early i don't believe in being on time i'm a positive believer of being on early so if your client is at 8 a.m you need to be there by 7 or 7 30 at the latest that gives you time to set up put your music on clean if need to be Get everything ready so that way when the client comes in they have the best experience possible so here i am shampooing my client and i don't really show you guys this if you want a private shampoo video i'll do that also but generally what i do is i shampoo my clients three to four times um using different shampoos and then after that i will go in and deep condition the hair whether it be with the steam or the hooded dryer so lately I have been using this facial steamer that I got off of Amazon. I'll link it down below because I have never steamed my clients or offered a steam service. So I wanted to offer something a little bit more exclusive to my clients. And instead of just putting the conditioner in the hair with a shower cap and putting them under the steamer for like 20 minutes, I decided, hey, why don't I steam the entire process, the shampoo, the condition, and then they can sit there relax i normally dim the lights have some nice soft music playing whether it's like erica badu jill scott mary j some soft jazz whatever the case may be just to set the ambiance candles lit you just want to make sure that you create the best experience possible for your clients and that's why i'm always booked out because my clients know that when they come i'm always early i'm ready to go i'm going to take my time on your hair and i'm not going to rush through because a lot of people don't get their hair done often, especially with COVID, so they wanna come and have a nice experience. Um, sometimes they might just be getting off of work, have you know a stressful week, or getting away from the kids, or their husband, or boyfriend, whatever the case may be. So when you come into my space, I just want to make sure that my clients are as comfortable as possible and just relaxed. So that's the environment that we're setting here. I'm just gonna go ahead and shampoo her. I'm only gonna do about, I think, two shampoos on here because typically, when I shampoo, I take my time because it's the best part of the service. Like that sets the tone for the rest of the appointment. So I'm not shampooing your hair for five minutes. I'm literally shampooing my clients for like 20 to 25 minutes, each client. I generally go in first. I um, saturate the hair with some water. I go in with like a deep cleanse shampoo and I'll just go in and lightly scratch the roots to lift up any dandruff or buildup. And I like to work that through the ends of the hair as well. And then I will go in with a moisturizing or hydrating shampoo and then after that, I'll go in with the stimulating, which is like the peppermint, the tea tree, the rosemary, all that good jazz. So that way, while they're getting steamed, like their hair is in their um, the hair follicles and their pores are completely open. So it absorbs more product. And that way it just feels amazing. Like literally, it just feels amazing. I can't even describe it. I have so many videos of these clients. I've literally just started adding steam treatments the last three weeks and almost every client has upgraded to a steam service. So I really appreciate that. And um, they say it's worth every penny. So if you have not, invest in a steamer because it'll be the best thing that you do. So I'm going to just go ahead and steam her and then I'll come back when I get to the next part. I had to go upstairs because I hear my daughters up there arguing. You guys already know mom life is kicking my ass right now with COVID and trying to be a teacher slash mom slash parent slash salon owner slash business owner slash YouTuber. 
so pray for me but i just appreciate you guys for being patient with me and yeah let's get into this shampoo also before i forget i have to give a shout out to my boy dante turner shout out to you man i used to work with him at wendy's when i was like 16 to 18. um he always wanted to make music and dante is a successful um, producer right now he did my beats for all of my videos coming up so shout out to you i will also link him out down below because i was like dante you snapped on this i just told him like look i'm on a youtube beat that's mine custom he sent me like 15 samples guys within like an hour so shout out to you black excellence keep doing what you're doing i fuck with you like you already know how i feel about you so shout out to you dante i really appreciate you doing this and check him out if you need some youtube beats or beats for any music videos so that way you don't get demonetized and yeah keep it up my brother I'm proud of you Also for my beginner hairstylist or my OGs, whenever you shampoo a client, you want to make sure that you ask them what temperature they prefer. So whether that be hot, cool, warm, whatever the case may be. And then once they tell you, or if they're not sure, what I like to do is run the water on the back of my hand. So that way I can make sure that I'm not going to hit them with scalding hot water or freezing cold water. It's literally just the little things that make the salon experience so much better because I'm taking care of you from start to finish i'm not half-assed doing anything i'm dotting my i's and crossing my t's and i'm just making sure that everything flows seamlessly so keep that in mind when you're doing your pricing everything clients will pay for quality so just the little things the fact that you talked to them or you took their jacket and not to mention i serve wine to my clients 21 and over and they love that um any other clients that are not 21 or over or might be pregnant or expecting or young um i do offer offer bottled waters also that's complimentary with the service and that's just one other thing that just takes it to the next level so you already have the professionalism you have you know professional products a professional stylist a seasoned vet at this point and somebody that just really takes pride in what they do people will pay more for that rather than going to somebody that doesn't care or will have you sitting in the salon all day um i only book one client at a time everybody's booked three to four hours apart so that way i'm working smarter and not harder those days are over but just want to make sure whatever you do especially because of covid everything is regulated and you might see me on here without a mask or a client that doesn't have a mask and i promise you guys those are clients that have gotten covid tested two to three times a week or people that i know are not leaving the house they're only coming to do my videos so i do apologize if that's a little bit of confusion in there but when I tell you we're being safe, I take the temperatures and everything before people come in. I sanitize everything. I Clorox everything. Just want to make sure that you're being extra careful and that your environment is clean and safe.
So now for the infamous blow dry, all I'm doing is sectioning my client in small sections. You wanna make sure that you have a spray bottle on hand or nearby and also some heat protectant. And what I typically do is apply that before. I'm not sure if that's in this part of the video or not because this video was long as hell, but I definitely put in some of that phenola oil. I'm really feeling that recently because of the smell and just the customer service alone, um, they've hooked me. So I've already signed up for like their pro program and all that good stuff. But I just, I'm going ahead and putting that in, making sure that the hair is protected before I go in to blow dry or press it out. You want to make sure with natural hair that you're just taking those extra steps to make sure that everybody's hair is good to go and not heat damage. And you want to take your time. A lot of times with natural hair, you have stylists that charge extra per length or, you know, take more time to do the hair. So you just want to make sure that you're doing everything properly. Me, I don't charge extra for natural hair. I charge one price. And me personally, the reason being is... I feel like that's kind of like punishing somebody for for taking care of their hair. So if you come to me, you're shoulder lean, and then you start to get to, uh, you know, waist length or whatever the case may be, you've been taking care of your hair. So I'm not going to keep charging you an extra $20, $30, $40 every time you come because hair grows. You get what I'm saying? So just make sure that you space out the adequate time to do everybody. Charge one price. Keep it simple. Keep it easy. That's just me preferably. And you guys know, I do a lot of people with super long hair, but that's just my personal preference, especially because I'm in Delaware. And a lot of people in Delaware don't like to pay a lot of money, but my clients do, because they appreciate me. So shout out to you guys. Also shout out to the fact that I'm wearing Barry's shirt that he actually gave me like two years ago when he first started designing clothes. Like when I tell you I bang with my clients, I support them, they support me. Like it's just a never ending cycle of like, magic going on so i'm just going to detangle her with my paul mitchell brush i'm using my speed freak you guys know i use this in every video i did get a new stack pack which is on my waist from professional nurse because my pink one was just starting to get destroyed and this navy blue just matched my suite so it felt like the right time to do that and i'm just going to go ahead and blow dry her out i am going to press her the kids do have zoom in about 20 minutes so i'm probably going to just let this play through but if you guys have any questions or concerns, feel free to message me. I will try to make everything as cut and dry as possible. And I just really appreciate all my subscribers because, believe it or not, I'm super anti-social. I'm not really a person that goes out. I'm in the mix, hanging with people. I pretty much work and go straight home to my children and my husband, and that's it. So the fact that you guys are just seeing who I am through my YouTube videos touches me because I love you guys, and I've been able to supplement my income with youtube and just make this a dream come true so shout out to you guys we're at 150k never thought i would be here but i'm just so thankful and so grateful especially with the holidays coming up i just want you guys to know i'm definitely thankful for my subscribers my followers my motivators my haters all of that and just keep grinding no matter what's going on in your life just keep going if something's meant for you it's for you nobody can stop that and I'm out here. I'm going to let this play through. <laughs> Hopefully, this isn't a crazy edit. When I tell you, I just do this together this morning. So, I don't know if I'm scratching my nose or anything in between. Just forgive it. But I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.